Open Heavens on the Go, Wednesday, December 21st, 2022. Topic, God's Standard. Memory Verse, 2 Timothy 2.19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God's standard sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Bible reading, Titus 2, 11 to 13. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that deny ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. The message. Knowing God is not the same as going to church. The evidence that you know God is that you love him and others. Some people prize spiritual gifts above love, but God is only interested in the person who loves him, as seen in 1 Corinthians 8, 3. But if any man love God, the same is known of him. You prove your love for God by obeying his commandments. John 14, 15 says, If ye love me, keep my commandments. It is easy to profess to be a Christian, but are you really living a Christ-like life? Many years ago, you could tell a person is genuinely born again by how vibrant he or she is for the Lord. In today's world, there are so many fellows who claim to be Christians but are not. God's standard has not changed. 2 Timothy 2.19 says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God's standard sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Only those who meet God's standard are qualified to be called Christians. Any fellow whose actions contradict that of Jesus Christ is not a Christian at all. A man who loves God will not sin secretly. Even if he falls into sin, he will try to get out of it. When you fall into sin, do you say, well, everybody is doing it, and then, go, and then continue to go against God's command, or do you try to get out of it? When Jesus comes back to take his own, he will call for his sheep to meet with him. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 17. He said that his sheep know his voice. John 10, 27. Thus, on that day, if you do not meet up with the standard of God for his sheep, you will not even hear him call at all. Hence, you will be left behind. You have the opportunity to drop every sin and meet up with his standard of complete obedience now. Beloved, give up those sins and commit to living holy now before it becomes too late. Reflection. Ask yourself, is my lifestyle meeting up with the standard of God for his children? If your answer is no, repent today and commit to living holy henceforth. Bible reading in one year, Hebrews 10 to 12. Him for today, when we walk with the Lord. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.